Hi, this is DH Dunn. Welcome back to more Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, part 11, I think? Yeah, that seems right. I'll go to Tarn. Uh, let's see, can we just... Like, if I just say load, does it go to the most recent? I would hope so. Yeah, I've done a lot of stuff with uh, my bog playthrough on this one. It's been a busy week uh, where I really haven't had time to do much other than my streaming time at night. So uh, I'm anxious to get back to this and push this forward a little bit. I've done, I've completed Act 1 with Bog, which is my uh, half-orc barbarian uh, representing my full orc uh, barbarian uh, in my One More Turn novel. Um, so, but there's, there's stuff I didn't do. And I went, um, there's a point in Act 1 where you have to choose which path of through Act 2 you take. And so I want to really make sure I take the other path with Tarn, which could be tricky because I couldn't find <laughs> I couldn't find how to get there. But we will uh, we will explore that as Tarn's uh, textures uh, load in here. Uh, they're looking a, a bit janky at the moment. I'm sure it'll show up in a moment. Tarn, get your armor in, buddy. Come on, you can do it. There you go. There you go. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, it's the uh, it's the day after the hurricane here, which was really kind of for a lot of Maine the hurricane that wasn't. Um, there was a strong belief as recently as twelve hours before the hurricane that it was going to hit Maine pretty hard. It did hit northern Maine, northern coastal Maine, I think hard. Uh, but the part of Maine that I'm in, southern Maine, uh, did not get hit very hard at all. It was just kind of extra windy. Uh, so. We had all our like we we had like all our like battery powered stuff was charged. We had like battery powered fans, and we have a battery generator, and like we had all that ready to go. Which is you know it's better to be ready and and you know not need it, but uh, it does feel a little uh, anti climatic, I guess. But I'm glad everything's fine. Now here's a cave over here. Have we been in this cave? Should we just explore? Or should we go look and see what quests he has? My On my list of things to do in my head, I wanted to go through his inventory, but it doesn't actually look that bad. Not like Boggs. My goodness. Boggs looks like Candy Crush. So, no, I also didn't know that every character comes with their own Revivify scroll. So, yeah, and this is the this is not the group I'm running around with in the other game, so that's good. Although I, I did switch Gale in on um bog's team is mostly um bog obviously then uh uh carlich um shadow heart and asterian so this would kind of be the other people um i'm interested in this cave can we reach it can't get there oh really I do have the power of jumping. I jump to here. I jump all the way over to here. Path is interrupted. Target is too far. Not enough space. Over here, over here, over here. What if we walked to here? Right? Get this whisper weed. Wisp weed. Excuse me. Got as close to the edge as we can. Jump, 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 jump. Oh! Hmm. All right. Well, got it. Smart grass. Come on over, folks. Owl bear tracks. Owl. Oh, it's the yes, owl bear it's nest. It's oh wow! I did this on my bog playthrough. And whereas with a lot of other things, I don't want to do the same choices I made. For this one, I might. I might make the same choices. This cragged rock, and then there's a little extra something there. No? What's up here? Oh, okay. All right. So you could climb down this way. Yes. I've been told I'm quite scintillating. Have you really? No. 
All right, uh, let's owl bear it up. Very, uh, pretty location. Eviscerated Goblin. Stench. Dead Albert prey, no doubt. True, Tarn. Go this way. Mud. Hmm, some goodies over there. Oh, hello. Stressed. Salmon. It's already hurt. Distressed. The owlbear sustained damage to its eye. It cannot make critical hits and has disadvantage to its perception checks. Uh-huh. Maybe you can... I wonder if you can do this encounter without killing the owlbear. Seeing if anyone has talked to animals. Still alive. Carlatch does, Still I know. Progress. Second wind. Do we have a, a scroll? No. Dancing lights. I don't even think we have Carlatch yet, actually. So, way. I guess we'll just you feel the say hello. Heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear, its beaked face looming. The size darkness. of that thing. Hmm. Can we do a performance check? Puff out our chest and roar. <laughs> I can't do Tarts Curses by this one. Is that a 20? No, that's a 1. <laughs> oh no, critical failure. <laughs> what happens on a critical failure? The beast returns the roar in kind. Well, all right then. Oh, do we have to fight the cub too? No. I'm going to try not to hurt the cub. Uh, lead with a ranged attack. Why not? Now, do we have like hobble or something? Piercing shot. Goading attack. That's for the um, haunting. I mean, that makes sense. Eh, no, I think it's more lazel that we want wanted to, to taunt it, but... Nice seven, we'll take that. You could then uh, hop yourself up here, which might be out of range, not enough space. All right, then we'll just, uh, we could action surge. And not commander strike, um, rally, we could rally. That give everybody in range. Cannot target self. Oh, it only gives a specific target. Grant an ally. An ally. Okay. Read read the commands there, Dave. We'll just we'll just oh shot again. Another four. All right. Uh, it's gonna go after this. So if we were to grease here. Will that slow it down? We'll see if that worked. Lost condition prone. Okay. No time to waste. All right. I mean, let's just pepper it with arrows for now. Six. 
Action surge, why not? We're gonna rest after this. Trip attack. Could knock it prone again. Nope, missed. This is my time. All right, Will. Do we Ild Eldritch Blast? Vicious Mockery, no. I don't want to pull him. You do have speak with animals. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, oh well. Arms of Hadar. It's only 10 foot range. Alright, Eldritch Blast it is. Big three. Should back up a bit. So he doesn't choose you. Albert Cub, no. Let's see. We got uh, goading attack ranged. Let's go ranged attack again. Missed. Way to go. Uh, give Lazel some extra HP. All right, now that we greased, oh crap! If we if we use the grease, um, it will set the uh, the kid on fire. I don't really want to set the kid on fire. Let's do magic missile. One, two, three. Beautiful, nice job. Back up, please. Crushing flight! Holy cow! A mother's desperation. What? Multi-attack. Miss. Eight, and he's prone. Uh, but he's wide open for um, Lazel now. Lazel could do the trip attack. Five to 19, which is way more than her regular. I more want it for the damage. 65%. Okay. And she doesn't need second wind. Tarn well, though. No holding back. All right, Will, can you try to talk with the animals? Would this work now? Amigos, animals. No. <laughs> no. No, it will not. Oh, great. And now, now you get a retaliation if you leave. So you're there now. Stay back there, little guy. All right, Tarn. Um, second win, please. Thank you. Give me... Do we want the goading attack? Do we want it to keep hitting Tarn? I kind of don't. <laughs> so... <laughs> oh! Tenacity. When you miss an attack, deal three bludgeoning damage anyway. All right. Well, that sucked. A rough tempest I will raise. Uh, yeah. Magic missile again, please. I think that was good. Good nine. One, two, three. Torment. Beautiful. That was um eleven. Oh, 12. Whoa, he's down. Tarn is down. Yowza. All right, um... Let's see. Rush attack, no. Um, pushing attack. I'm more, again, I more like it for the damage, but uh, I'll take the trip attack again. That did a lot of damage. That was very good. Will, can you actually get him up from where you are without triggering a reaction? You can. That's all you can do. Uh, <laughs> you could try to shove him. <laughs> no, invalid. Okay. Uh, could you shove Tarn out of the way? Just out of curiosity. You could conceivably. Interesting. Okay. No, little guy, no! Okay, Tarn, uh, definite. Use your... In fact, I think you have a better health potion. Yeah, can you use this? 
Okay. That's all you got, though. Can't do anything else. All right, star of the show here, Gale. One, two, three. Big 12. Oh! Oh! All right, he's not down. He's not down. All right, Lazo for the finish. There we go. From you to his dead mother. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, I feel terrible. A strike will end his suffering. No, I can't. You watch speechless as the cub begins to eat his mother. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> well, okay then. I'm spent. We should unwind in camp. Can we, um... Head of a broken spear. Okay, well, that's not very exciting. All right there, little owlbear friend. Uh, I'm just going to loot your entire house, okay? Is that all right? What's in here? The Oak Father's Embrace. That's right. Medium armor. Undead creatures hit the, the wearer. Receive one to six. Beasts that hit the wearer receive one to six. I feel like that's better than what he's wearing, even though he it's very barbarian looking. Always room for more. Uh take the owlbear egg, please. Thank you. An owlbear egg. These are supposed to be worth a fortune. Yeah, well, fantastic. I'm into having a fortune. Absolutely. If not over, then through. Sure. Open up. An unusual place to find a shrine of Selena. Oh, oh Jesus. Spell <laughs> sealed that chest. <laughs> oh, get him up. Get him up. The hero at heart. <laughs> oh, that was great. All right, so uh, what's the situation? It has a seal. Um, with the weave. Let's say first. Mm, that way. Gail, can you take the other stuff first? Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So how do we get past this? Maybe we can't. Hmm. I mean, we probably need like remove ward or something. That candle doesn't do anything. All right. Uh, you know what? It's probably the greatest item in the game, but we're going to leave it. All right. Let's head to camp. Give it some thought, I guess. An owlbear cave campsite. Fantastic. Uh, let's check in with everybody. Will, how's it going? Not you, not you. Don't you check in with Will. No one stopped me yet. I should speak up. Well met. Tell me, Will, how did you come to be the Blade of Frontiers? My father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. Okay. So it was for me. I was hunting near the cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle. But I remember drying the boy's tears after. Hmm. 
So you flew into a rage to uh, help that kid. That's awesome. Did he name you the Blade of Frontiers? No. But he named me friend. And that meant the world. But what of the others? The children never saved. The cries never heard. In the boy's tears, I finally saw the suffering wrought by the villains of the wild. The frontiers demanded a blade. And so I heeded. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to pretend I've heard of you from Baldur's Gate. And it's nice to meet someone of your talents. Thank you. Having a worm wriggling in my skull didn't instill much confidence in the days ahead. With you as my ally. The future looks a little I wonder if the mind flayers put the worm into his stone eye or the regular eye. Like, would it have not worked if it had gone into the stone eye? Uh, did you lose your eye in battle? A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah. But that story is reserved for lifetime friends oh. and karma days. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. All right. Um, I think I'm good. Uh, well met and all that. Don't Gail, how's it going? Step. Go ahead. I'm listening. Uh, you're you're fine. Thank you. Uh, who else do we have here? That withers up at the top. No, Asterion, I, I don't talk to you in this playthrough. I talk to you in my other playthrough. Where is everybody? Where's Lazel? Cranky-ass Lazel. You up here? Yep. There's Cranky Butt. Okay, I will. What's your problem? <laughs> uh, do you know what will happen if we don't find a cure? Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Eat. Then you have ceased to exist, and a mind flayer is born. Ah, uh, fun. <laughs> we will find a cure. Words forged in steel. May your actions express the same metal. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. Yeah, why haven't we changed? Yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. You're a lot of fun, you know that? <laughs> Are you sure the crash is the only path to the cure? Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each crash contains a Sathisk purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. Eat. Books can be wrong, you know. Not books, but slates. Wisdom so profound it is etched into stone. Truth as perfect as the queen who decreed it. Countless scholars roam the astral wow. sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, exploring She's very devout. distant order turns to chaos and cold fires rage. The plains are ever quaking and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more. Infinities upon infinities. <laughs> Wait for me in camp. All right, well, neat. Sounds fun. All right, uh, let's rest up. Uh, end the day. 
Everyone into your jammies. If you auto... Okay, yeah, just don't pick the egg. I don't want it to select the egg. What are we eating tonight? Spicy sausage links. Salami. More sausage. Because this is a heavy meal, guys. Pork. And poutine. Guys, I'm a little concerned for our digestion, but okay. We'll go with it. That's a heavy-ass meal. Sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Hey! Shit. Uh, excuse me? No, no. It's not what it looks like. I swear. What the hell else would it be? I... I wasn't going to hurt you. I... I just needed, well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. How long has it been since you killed somebody? I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds. Whatever I can get. Well, aren't kobolds it's intelligent? Not, not if I have to fight. I feel so... weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. Go bite Shadowheart. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds. Secrets half revealed. Why didn't you tell me? I mean, I kind of knew you were a vampire, but why didn't you tell me? At best, I was sure you'd say no. Correct. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. Still on the table? I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. Says the guy who was leering over me while I was sleeping. How can I trust you? Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these... Worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please, only be a taste, I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine, and everything can go back to normal. I didn't allow this with Bog, but I'm going to do it with him because I want to see. Fine, go, go, <laughs> go ahead, dude, really? whatever. I... Of course. Not one drop more. Don't read anything into this. Let's, make ourselves come. Let's just do this one time. Okay, I changed my mind. Second thoughts. Second thoughts. Second thoughts. Oh. It's like a shard of ice uh. into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches. Your pulse quickens. See, what I'm hoping is that I get to become a vampire now. Uh, that's enough, dude. Oh, no. DC 5! Out of 10. Hmm? Oh, of course. That... That was... Amazing. Okay, it's... I'm just here to help you out, dude. I feel strong. You got a little. You got a little right there. Uh, I yeah, I wasn't into that. Don't be so dramatic. This is just a little transaction between friends. And look what you've gained. Together, we can take on the world. Uh, I'm not even having you in the party. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, um... I mean, there's not a mid-level here. Like... Yeah, don't, don't try it again. It won't happen again. You have my word. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. What does that mean? 
This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks off. Stronger, more confident. Uh, I think we've made a terrible decision. <laughs> The group sigh is so funny to me. Alright, oh god. What is this? Bloodless. Feels a bit woozy. What the hell? Dude, you said it would be harmless. You said it would not do anything. Alright, well. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not happy about this. Where is he? I gotta go talk to him now. I wonder if anyone else can tell if I talk to them while they go, Whoa, dude, what's up with you? What's on your mind? Nope. Okay. Uh, what do you make of having a vampire in our camp? We all have our burdens. One way or the other. Oh, yeah, says the guy who eats all my magic items. Um, is he over here? Yeah, he is over here. Off by himself. Yep. Good morning. How do you feel? Oh, no. My neck hurts. How do you think I feel? Be grateful I'm not a true vampire, then. A bite from them, and you might wake up what? as a vampire spawn. Like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. So I don't get to be, um... I don't get to be a vampire. Oh, no. I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. That's interesting. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. Huh. As for my other quirks, well... <laughs> We can figure those out in time. Uh, yeah, do you think, uh, the mind player is causing this? That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these, uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. Oh, yeah. Hello. A vampire among us. So be it. But should I wake with so much as a drop of blood on my neck, oh, I will end him. Fine. As long as he keeps his fangs off our necks. Well, see, that's kind of that ship has already sailed. Uh, we need him. He's really good in combat. <laughs> He's not wrong. We're bound together, <laughs> no matter what comes. You say all the right words, but I'm not so sure you mean the right things. Still, I will respect the decision that was made. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Sure. Uh, I actually think that is a good place for me to stop. So I'm going to put a save in here. Um, and uh, get this edited and posted. And uh, let's see, today's Sunday, so it probably will be up sometime Monday. Um, and, uh, I'm gonna take a break and record another one. Um, but that's gonna do it for this one. Thanks very much for watching. Stay safe. Take care of each other. I greatly appreciate your support of the series. Have a great day. Bye-bye.